What's going on guys? This is Nestor. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your MetaTrader and how to do some trades specifically for cryptocurrency. For those of you familiar with the Forex market, you can see that these are not cryptocurrency pairs. They are Forex pairs. What I did was click that pencil the top left and I selected all of these Forex pairs and I'm going to delete them. Now to add the cryptocurrency pairs that we need, we're going to go again, click that pencil, then click that plus sign at the top right. Since we are in DCX, we're going to be clicking the cryptos at the bottom. Now, there are a lot of cryptocurrencies that we can go out there and trade. I'm going to pick some that we specifically use for Swipecoin and some of our other AI tools. This one I added was ADA USD, which is Cardano. I added BTC USD, which is Bitcoin. We're going to scroll down. We also added Polkadot USD, which is DOT. Then we're going to add Ethereum USD as well and Ethereum BTC. You have to double check when you're trading to make sure you're not confusing ETH USD and ETH BTC. Now we're also going to add Litecoin, which is LTC USD. Next on the list, we have Solana. Solana is SOL USD. Then just a couple more. We're going to be adding XRP USD, which is some of our traders' favorites. Last but not least, we're going to be adding XTZ USD. And you add it simply by pressing the plus sign. And if you wanted more information on the specific cryptocurrency pair, you can click the arrow on the side. Now that we added all the cryptocurrency pairs that we typically use, you can check on the quotes tab right here to see all of them and their specific price points. Now let's get to the fun part. So right here, we're going to be actually setting up these trades. You can see in this demo account, I have $100,000 to play with. To actually get to setting up these trades, we're going to have to go back to the quotes tab, uh, which is far left. And we're going to pick our specific cryptocurrency that we're going to use for this trade. With this specific example, we're going to be doing BTC USD, which is Bitcoin versus the US dollar to click and hold btc usd this is going to pop up and we're going to click the trade tab and you're going to get to this screen you're going to see up top it says btc usd uh, below that it says market execution under that there's some numbers that's going to be the lot size then we have stop loss and take profit first things first let's actually put in our stop loss this is going to take us out of the trade immediately once it hits that price point it's called a stop loss because it stops us from losing more money than we want we always want to have a stop loss during a trade because we always want to manage our risk that is the name of the game in this example specifically we are doing a sell so the stop loss must be above the price that we actually entered in Now that we got that stop loss entered, we are going to be putting in our take profit. Our take profit is actually going to take us out of a trade once we hit our desired amount of profit. Like I said, for this specific example, it is going to be a sell. So we want the market to actually go down in value. So we're going to place our take profit below the price that we entered in. Now, the last thing that we're going to be going over is something called lot size. So in basic terms, this is the amount of leverage you're going to be utilizing for your specific trade. The bigger your lot size, typically the more you're going to be risking when you're doing a trade. For this example, I want to have a little bit less risk because this is a beginner trade. So I'm going to be only putting 0 0.01 for the lot size. You can use lot size calculators um, based on your risk and your specific account to determine your exact lot size. Now the next step is simply press sell by market. This means we're executing it at market price. And as you can see, we are actually in the negative already. This is because the broker needs to get paid. So they charge you with something called spread. Just like that, we are one step closer to becoming master traders.